Hi, this week I watched The Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires, Hammer's final Dracula-based film, and Peter Cushing's last horror film for the studio. It was made in 1974, and it's the story of Professor Van Helsing, now lecturing in China. who hears the story of a village that's being tormented by a group of seven uh, legendary vampires, little knowing that they're actually being commanded by an ancient Chinese monk who's been possessed by the spirit of Dracula. So he, along with the leader of a group of uh, Chinese mercenaries and several others, including his son and their female sponsor, travel across country to assist the village and fight off the supernatural threat. Um, it's dreadful. Um, many of the Hammer movies, I think, have um, skated by on the studio's reputation. Um, I think that many of them are quite weak. Um, there are exceptions. The first Dracula and Frankenstein movies, I think, are very good. They quickly fall off a cliff. It's notable that the second Dracula film, Hammer produced, The Rise of Dracula, doesn't actually feature Dracula. And although the character only features briefly in two scenes in this one, he isn't played by Christopher Lee. Instead, it's uh, John Forbes Robertson and dubbed by David de Kaiser. Uh, Lee turned down the role flat. Um, this is possibly the worst film I've seen to star Peter Cushing, and even with his level of professionalism, where he would treat every script, every film, as though it was Shakespeare and deliver a serious, committed performance in all of them, he really looks like he couldn't care less. Um, if you compare that to Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, the last Hammer Frankenstein movie that was released the same year, that's quite a bit better. It's also a bit more imaginative and creative. Whereas this was a British Hong Kong co-production um, for which Hammer partnered with Sir Run Run Shaw, uh, attempting to incorporate uh, the new trend of Kung Fu and martial arts into a horror picture. The result is some very impressive, very skilled martial arts stunt work, but it's very limply filmed and limply edited. Uh, the director, Roy Wood Baker, said that he left the action scenes up to the Hong Kong crew and shot the, the more conventional material himself and although uh, the experience was far from painful and he actually got on very well with the uh, the uh, unusual Hong Jin uh, uh, location um, he thinks that the film was dreadful and I have to agree there's a scene early on which is set in Transylvania which is clearly Kowloon um, it's really very very poor um, a, a, bungled riff on Seven Samurai, uh, except this time in China, and vampires, um, with very little to commend it, um, very obvious dubbing on a lot of the actors, uh, even the ones who could notionally speak English, um, and really a very poor film, were it not for the fact that one of my least favourite films of all time, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, released the same year, this would easily be the worst film I've seen from 1974. So it should thank heavens for some mercies.